know what you're talking about. He's like, you're really no, you know what he's looking at? What are you looking at? Let me guess. You are ridiculous. Well, that's Sit. Why that's why he's looking at it. There you go, toast. Alrighty, it's the next day and we have to get back to work. So first thing we're gonna do is extend the seat heater lines. We have four of them to do, uh, left and right, butt and back. So these are gonna get snipped roughly right about there and then ran down through there, through the bottom, and then plug in there. Same with that one, run down, across, plug in there. So these ones are just gonna get extended and go straight down to there. So it shouldn't be too bad. And yeah, once we're done with that, then we need to wire up all the lights up top. And that's gonna be mostly Carlton, but I'm just here for the help. Damn it. I did a little bit of wiring. Don't look at it though. It's not sheathed and everything's super long. But uh, I got it all set up ready for the sheathing to come in tomorrow. Carlton got the speaker wire on, which also is going to get the sheathing up to here and then from here out. Uh, we connected them. It works. The only downfall is you can't run the Bluetooth on the speakers with the same time as the Bluetooth for the lights, the underglow, which is not a huge deal. Like they'll still work. They can still turn on. Yeah, they still turn on. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's just if you want to change them. I just can't control them, which isn't a, it's really not a big deal to me. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. That's done. Um, tomorrow, sheathing, we'll finalize the seats, finalize the speakers, and we will try to finalize all the lights on top. So, not bad. I am going to put on the steering wheel hook real quick, and then we'll call it a night. There it is. Steering wheel hook's all on. Looks good. All right. See you tomorrow. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. All right. The sleeving came in and Carlton is working away. He loves this stuff. He's really good at it. So uh, be my guest, buddy. Mm -hmm. And because I'm cooking dinner. So oh, that's the only reason. That's the only reason. Yeah. I'm not helping yet. For sure. You know, I did a lot of wiring last night. It's the most I've done in about wired, a year. You wired the whole golf cart. <laughs> Oh yeah, remember? Yeah. Now I can say I did it. Uh, oh hey, by the way, if you guys ever wonder, uh, you know what we use, new cool little thing. What do you call it? You links, know, you know affiliate called. links down below. You know it's called. Yeah, yeah. Where's the sleeving? You got it? No. Well, this stuff right here is on there, and same with the wire, all the wiring tools that we use. Uh, along with all the golf cart parts. So if you look down below in the video description, you guys will see everything that we use um, for wiring and everything else. So take a look and uh, click the link and purchase something. Get a little kickback, kind of helps the channel a little bit. So yeah, that's all we're up to. Carlton's gonna continue with the rest of the seats. Then he's gonna do the speaker wire and then we're gonna get started on the lights up above. We are very close to being done. Very, very close. Uh, it's pretty exciting, so can't wait.
righty. Speakers done. Sheathed. Done. Speaker wire all the way back here. Done. Heated seats. All done. Done. Installed. Done. Installed. Marked off the list. Done. Installed. <laughs> Good Installed. job, buddy. Done. Uh, now we are doing weather pack connectors on the lights on the back, the light pods on the back, and the light bar on the front. And that is because if I ever need to take the roof rack off for some reason, it's all riv nutted in there, so it's simple to take off. I want the lights to be able to disconnect and come right off. Just in case you never know, maybe we gotta get it in a parking garage and it's too tall or something. <laughs> so weather pack connectors on there, and I think we told you this yesterday, but. Will this fit in an enclosed trailer? That's one of the reasons why I want to make sure it was, it would, if it's extra tall, it would. Um, but yeah, so the wires, one set of wires for the two rear lights going over there, another set for the front light bar going over there, drilling down through the roof, epoxy in it, and then going right through here, through the end of the bar, all the way down with the speaker wire, down through there, and then all the way to there. And that's it. So we are very close. Once that's done, all we will have left to do is set toe and the back seat, and then we're done. So it's pretty, uh, pretty exciting. We are on the very home stretch. So I think we'll we plan on finishing this wiring tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, we are all done for the night. So as you guys saw, we got the ends of the quick disconnects on the lights up here and uh oh you can't see it but right there everything's all tied up uh it's all tied up all nice all the way down and then we got into some struggling well obviously we got a power and a ground for each set of lights right so power ground power ground so four wires got the hole cut in the roof nice small hole got the hole cut in the bar and instead of going through the bar here, we're gonna make it easy ourselves and just go straight shot down, right? Well, we get it all the way down to about right here and it gets stuck on the other wire and won't go all the way down. So it sucks. Um, as you can see, we're starting to really gum up the wire, but we gotta figure it out. I really want them to go through the, through the tube. I don't want them to just kind of hang out of nowhere, so. We'll just have to mess with this more and hopefully uh, hopefully we can get it. All right, I got no hat on, it's a little weird. I came out here right after work because after Tori and I were battling this for like an hour last night, I'm like, dude, we gotta get this done. So he came up with a really good idea to try and get the wire all the way through that tube that we're having a pain. Um, to take the welding wire, add a couple inches to it, and then heat shrink it to that and just shove it down. So I started doing that. I got a piece tacked together just to extend the wire. Heat shrinked it. I should have showed you guys before I did it, but I was just trying to get it done. And then it took me about, let's see. I started when I got home about an hour to shove all four wires through that tube. And I finally, you know what happens when you don't have a pocket? Yeah, oops. Um, it took me about an hour and I finally got the wires through there. They pull through easy now. Done. So, good job, Tori. It was good work, good idea. We got it. Now I'm gonna get up here, get these ends put together and then pull my length all the way through and finish up this wiring. Get this freaking wiring done. I'm over it, been doing it for too long. We're almost done, we're so close. We just have to put that thing in afterwards and this bad boy's finished. Tori Jr. How's Uncle Carlton doing? Tori Jr. Come finish this up. <laughs> All right. As you guys heard from Carlton yesterday uh, and saw, he got the wires through. Good job.
I tried to help him today and try to do some uh, do the, some of the sleeving while he was gone, but uh, I might have messed it up. So he's fixing it right now. It's okay, we made it work. <laughs> we did make it work. You got half of it. Done. Got half of it done, so not bad. Um, so yeah, just hooking up two wires right now to the ring terminals and cutting all the zip ties, and all of the wiring is done. Everything's completely done on the cart except for the rear seat and. You know, there's more than one thing that we got left, right? Got a set toe. Oh. <laughs> the front tie rods are still loose because um, they're brand new, as you guys know. So we need a set toe. It's actually not bad right now. It looks pretty straight up, but uh, we need to check that and lock those down. For the first test drive tomorrow, almost there. Are you digging into the rear seat tonight or no? We'll see. We'll see. Depends how many rainier beers I have. <laughs> uh, me, Tori Jr., Kayla, and Clea, my wife and daughter, we're going to a friend's house tonight for some family dinner. Uh, Carlton, we invited him, but he wants to be a lonely boy and hang out by himself with toast. No, so. I don't want to be a lonely boy. I don't want your dog to be a lonely oh, boy. Oh, that's okay. what it is. Anyways. Uh, I think he's going to dig into the back seat and try to see what we can do there. One thing to know about the back seat is these seat brackets right here. They're, they come with completely new ones. And we didn't know that while we were using those old seat brackets. So it's not going to be easy, but uh, I'm sure we can get it figured out. We'll see how it goes tonight. All right. So Moment should, of truth. Should I tighten down the terminal or test it first? Uh, test it first. Bang! Those are bright. <laughs> nice. Nice, dude. Better show them the front while we're here. Oh, yeah. There it is. Ready for the freaking safari, dude. Gosh, I mean, you might as well hit the underglow while we're here. There it is. I mean, you might as well hit the headlights since we're here. There it is. Compressor? What about the horn? Oh, I don't know if there's air in there or not. Uh, if Tory Jr. wasn't out here, I'd say hit the horn, but... Yeah, like, dude, is that dude, funny? Hit the horn. Oh. Is that funny? Compressor works. Sweet. Nice, just, dude. Just, the voltage just goes... Right, right up. Yeah, we got to charge the battery. It's a little low. Or just start the cart and then uh, let her see get going. See if the alternator works. Alternator, yeah. Awesome, dude. Hey, you got a couple things you can mark off the list. Did you actually leave them for me? Yeah. I didn't mark them off this time, dude. No, they were already marked off. You rewrote them. Well, yeah, because they weren't done yet. Uh, sir? What? You have <laughs> all over you. I always have <laughs> on me. Nice. Cool. All right. Good work. Okay, so I'm taking a look at this rear seat, dude. Oh, my goodness. There's so many parts to it. I, I thought it was going to be so much more simple than that this must be the new back seat yeah so a lot of components to it a lot of different pieces but the main issue is this main bracket that everything mounts to um and there's a couple mounting points on it i'm not so sure about that if we need them or don't need them but basically this mount, this bracket, completely not gonna work with the tube, which is a big problem. So regardless of whether I use that whole bracket and modify it to the tube mount, or I cut that bracket and modify it to the mount that's on there, this is there's gonna be a little bit of a uh, challenge to this, so. My idea, just reading the instructions real quick, I'm going to sit down and actually read them, but just looking at the pictures, I think the only mounting point we really truly need for the back seat is here and here. I don't know what this is for, so I got to double check. Um, and yeah, you can see that the seat has a little bit different angle, so this would just change things a lot. And uh, I'm hoping what I can do is just take this L here and freaking cut her up 
slap her down in here, mount the seat. We might have to add some supports. We might have to be pulling those brackets completely out, which sucks because we just ran that wire through that tube. Can't shorten the tube. Because realistically, I could shorten the tube and it would sit right up on here on this support, right? But can't cut it. Not going to try to cut it because we have all the wires through it and everything. Um, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm going to read the instructions, double check, make sure what mounting points are used on these main brackets. And then there's these ones here. These are no big deal. You drill out, locate those, put those up like that. Easy. But then I'll have to call Tori because he's not here and be like, hey, so like your brand new brackets, brand new seats, I'm going to cut them up to make it work. So I hope you're okay with that. But yeah. All right, we'll keep you posted. All right. I got the okay from the old head honcho to cut up the new bracket. So basically what I'm gonna do is obviously this, you know, he was telling me, you gotta make sure the instructional integrity. Come on, dude. I mean, it ain't my first rodeo. That part is really important. So what we're gonna do is basically cut this L off, use this L because it's the only part that it mounts to. Add some gussets here to make this L bracket strong. The only thing I'm worried about is that this mounting, this is gonna be the only mounting point right here. Worst comes to worst, we can drill through and through bolt this. And I'm not too worried about that, but I don't think it's gonna be a, big, be a big deal because even so, if we have any other issues when we put this L bracket in, I can add a plate on the inside here that goes to this existing one and weld it. So don't think it's a huge deal. I'm gonna start cutting up his nice new pretty parts and uh, get after it. Okay, so I cut the brackets and I wanted to install everything, well, not everything, but most of it, to get it in there and look at it and make sure that it was actually gonna fit and work, and I think it will. <clears throat> um, only thing I probably need to double check is to make sure that there's enough spacing on this bracket to here. Um, so probably gonna end up building up this whole thing right now as is before doing anything else to those brackets, and then I can pull it off and make those brackets real sturdy. Um, there's not a ton of flex in them. The only problem is it flexes this way. So I don't think adding gussets is going to help with that. I think that's more of not having a mounting point in the back. So we might have to add a plate here and that kind of sucks because it means we're going to have to try and pull all of this off to pull the bracket to repaint it. But it is what it is. It's better than trying to modify that other bracket. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, other than that, yeah, I'm going to make sure all these mounting holes are good with what we got going on here. I was just looking at that. I want to make sure everything lines up right. But we're on a good path. So I went ahead and put everything on. I wanted to make sure that 
we had zero clearance issues and it all looks really good it's actually really sturdy um i stood on it because i wanted to see that bracket's still doing that so we're gonna make this thing perfect i mean it's honestly probably completely fine but we're here now we're building the golf cart dial it in and so yeah so what i'm going to work on is i'm going to pull everything back off and i'm going to build some plates that go right in between here and i should be able just to tack those on uh, probably get in i'll tack it i'll tack in there with the uh, uh train of thought i'll tack in there with the tig welder so that way we don't get any anything on this so no oh, yeah i like it i think it's strong and honestly that's gonna be strong and this is gonna be the only lead point in here but yeah so i'll get this pulled apart again um everything's not tightened so just pull pieces off and work on getting those pieces welded in So I got these uh, brackets welded and yeah, they turned out good. So I'm going to get these in and I'm actually, I'm going to put everything back in. I think I'm just going to check and see if this is good enough because if we don't have to add the piece to the other bracket, um, that'd be a lot easier. So if I can put these in and it's super sturdy, then we're going to be done and call it good. All right, got it all in. And the only thing is brackets are not painted. But basically I wanted to put everything in, <clears throat> bolt it down, tighten it, and make sure that the brackets were gonna be strong enough for this, and it is. No problem. Nice and sturdy. So when Tori gets back tomorrow, we will Go get paint and tear it all back apart again, you know, third time, no big deal. And paint those brackets and then put it in for its final time, and which is good because I want them to be here to do the final thing on the golf cart. So, uh, yeah, we got to get some paint and do that in the morning. Yeah, looks sick. Pretty excited how this thing turned out. Looks good. We want sweet golf cart. <laughs> 